Welcome, welcome, one and all, to another edition of The Reigning Source, where I tell you the way it is. We talk about rumors, news, speculation, gossip, hearsay. We cover it all because if it weren't for you, there would be no Sean's view, whether you're watching me on an iPad, a tablet, a cell phone, an iPhone, a TV, a PS5, an Xbox, a Game Boy. However you're accessing me, thank you for making Sean View a part of your experience. Because every day is an experience, viewers, fans, and subscribers. And you quite frankly never ever know when that experience is going to end. As we all know, my brother's experience and his life came to a screeching halt. My brother passed away a few days ago. And I have said I was going to take this entire week to dedicate every video, every upload to his memory and to my brother John who... Again, no longer with us. And what have I done to make the pain not as severe, not as not as bad? Well, I've come on here and shared my views, my videos, my time with all of you. And thank you so much for giving it back. Now, there was a little event earlier today entitled AEW All In 2024. And at that event, there were some memorable things. There were some monumental things. There were some shocking things. Now, we're not going to get to the results because I already covered that earlier. And, and again, if you want to give me your thoughts and your comments on AEW, you can do that. I am compelled to always hear your thoughts, your comments. But what I really want to hear is what we're hearing. According to those in the know, <clears throat> according to the dirt sheets, the websites, and the newsletters, <clears throat> Brian Danielson was never going to win the AEW World Championship. Brian Danielson wanted to retire. Brian Danielson wanted to say and call it a career. But according to those in the know, again, the dirt sheets, the websites, the newsletters are reporting that Tony Khan wanted Brian Danielson to have a moment. He wanted his time in the sun. He wanted Brian Danielson to have that one, what, that one moment in his career that he will remember for a lifetime. But now, ladies and gentlemen, and before, before we get to the major announcement and, and, and the title and the headline of the video that you see, do you think that I, I was I was you know because I ex, I explore social media and you know I, I I see what I see I read what I read and I hear what I hear and I saw some things on Facebook you know p people posting pictures about Daniel Bryan Bryan Danielson uh, winning the AEW World Heavyweight Championship and saying that oh well AEW finally gave Bryan Danielson his moment he finally gets his time did you forget about WrestleMania 30 did you forget about when the Yes Movement started. Did you forget about Daniel Bryan, Bryan Danielson, defeating Randy Orton and Batista, and then he defeated Triple H in the beginning of the night? Remember, it was yes -a mania So for those that are saying, oh, Bryan Danielson was undercut, he was, uh, he was underappreciated in the WWE, he didn't get his time, he didn't get his moment, that WrestleMania 30 was all about Daniel Bryan. So for anybody to say, oh, well, finally AEW did the right thing, the WWE had already done it. The WWE already did it. Now, coming out of WrestleMania 30, Daniel Bryan definitely had his ups and his downs, his good and his bad. But then, you know, he transitions to, to AEW. But, but in, in between there, there was some retirement. There was some injury. Make no mistake about it. There was injuries to Bryan Danielson. As I'm getting a little bit blurry here, let's see if we can fix this. Let's see if we can fix this here. Can we get, can we get it better? I'd hate to do the video all over again. Might have to be a little... Oh, wait, all right, we're good. All right. Uh, so, so obviously, there was some retirement. There was some injury. There was some paralysis. And it was said that Brian Danielson would never wrestle again. So, listen, I give the, the American Dragon all the credit in the world for being able to overcome the odds and return to a wrestling ring. He returned in the WWE after being told, you'll never wrestle again. Soraya Page was told the same thing, you'll never wrestle again. Edge, Adam Copeland, was told the same thing, you will never wrestle again. But what happened, all three made a return. All three made a comeback. Now we're just hoping that Big E can also make a comeback. But that's not what this video is about. This video is about Brian Danielson because Brian Danielson was asked, well, now what's the next chapter? What's going to be next for Brian Danielson? Knowing that he didn't actually want to win that match. But again, Tony Khan said, no, you got to win it. We want you to have this moment. We want this to be special for you. So now there is rumors, again, rumors, not confirmed, rumors and speculation that coming out of All In, that Brian Danielson's next step is he is going to retire as the AEW World Champion and that a tournament, 
to determine a brand new AEW World Champion will happen, and the brand new AEW World Champion will happen at the AEW's next pay-per-view extravaganza on PPV. Again, that could change. Again, that is a rumor. Oh, I, I don't want you talking about rumors. I want you to talk about anything that's confirmed. Again, in the world of wrestling, some things that are rumors, sometimes it happens, sometimes it doesn't happen. Sometimes it comes halfway, sometimes it comes full away, sometimes it doesn't happen at all. But that is, that's, that, that's the chance I'll take, even with all the death threats and with all the people saying that they're going to kill me and they're going to take me out and they're going to slice me and dice me because what I said wasn't right or it was wrong or it, or it, it was a little off. Listen, bro, if you want to kill me, you better thrill me. Because if you're going to thrill me, you better pill me. Because if you're going to pill me, you, you get what I'm getting at. I don't give a damn. I am here for three reasons. My subscribers, my fans, and my viewers. That is why I am here. And if you want to take out the brash and the brazen, and if you want to take me down, and if you want to think that you know what you're going to do when you don't have a clue as to what Sean's view is going to do, well, then you're barking up the wrong damn tree and you don't know what you're messing with. You don't know what you're dealing with because this is the show. This is the time. This is what you're going to remember. I do this multiple times a day, day in and day out. I have come from a nothing to be somebody because you're watching, because you're clicking, because you're commenting, because you're viewing, because you are doing what I would hope you would do. And that would be interact and intersect. That would be agree. That would be disagree. Because if it weren't for you, there would be no Sean view. And that is the damn truth. That is just a fact of life. Now, do you see Brian Danielson retiring? Do you think that will be the right judgment? Do you think that would be the right call? And who should be the next reigning AEW world champion? Now, I know you might be asking yourself, well, boy, that would be a short run. Now, this wouldn't be the first time that Brian Danielson has had to retire, but now he would be saying he would be retiring under his own way. Brian Danielson would be retiring under his own terms. It wouldn't be forced by an injury, although Brian Danielson is dealing with a lot of injuries right now. That wouldn't be what forces it to happen. Also, Tony Khan addresses AEW stars expiring contract after all in London appearance. Again, an expiring contract. But of course, we also saw WWE's Ricochet appear at this very event tonight, among other WWE stars notable uh, in, in their own right. So, ladies and gentlemen, what will be the direction? What will be the way? What can we anticipate? What can we expect to be the next step for Brian Danielson? A lot of unanswered questions, but a lot of rumors and speculation, a lot of conjecture going into the next AEW show and I'm doing this because, well, Brian Danielson is a former WWE star, and this channel is obviously WWE-driven. So remember, viewers, fans, and subscribers, take this video and share it all over the entire internet. I want you to share it on Twitter, on X, uh, on Instagram. Share it with your friends, your girlfriends, your boyfriends. Tell everyone you know that your premier place is the brash and the brazen because, well, if I ain't going to be first place, if I ain't going to get there, if that's not going to happen, hell, I ain't going to settle. Sean Vitim ain't going to settle. This isn't the settling show. I will be number one because if you don't want to be number one, why are you even here? Subscribe.